Welcome to the wild west of the digital age where cyber threats lurk around every corner. As we traverse this landscape, we'll uncover three recent stories that have flown under the radar. We'll discuss a major data leakage issue with ServiceNow, the staggering rise in cyber ransom payments, and the surprising role of hacker groups in the Israel-Hamas conflict. So buckle up as we delve into the untamed frontier of cyber news. In our first news story, a major software-as-a-service platform is leaking data like a sieve. ServiceNow, a prominent player in the industry, has been plagued by data leakage due to misconfigurations. The root cause? Over-provisioning of permissions to guest users and customer-managed configurations. But don't be quick to point fingers at ServiceNow alone. This issue is a common one across major software-as-a-service platforms. The good news is that Apomni, a software-as-a-service security provider, has developed a tool to check for this misconfiguration in ServiceNow instances. They're also working hand-in-hand -hand with ServiceNow to address the problem. Yet, this story underscores the importance of security scrutiny and understanding shared responsibility in software as a service applications. Clearly, the digital transformation comes with its own challenges, and cybersecurity is not a feature to overlook. Moving on, cyber criminals are cashing in big time in the maritime industry. The cost of cyber attacks on maritime organizations has seen a staggering increase, with the average cyber attack now costing more than half a million dollars, a threefold increase from the previous year. But that's not all. Ransom demands have also skyrocketed over 350%, with the average payment now tipping the scale at a whopping $3.2 million. This surge highlights serious gaps in cyber risk management and underscores the industry's struggle to attract cybersecurity professionals. The maritime industry is sailing on troubled waters, and it's high time they build a stronger cybersecurity shield. Finally, the Israel-Hamas conflict is not just limited to the physical world. It's fascinating to see how warfare has evolved, as this conflict also has a digital front. Cyber attacks, primarily from Russia-aligned groups, are targeting allies of Israel, with the aim of stirring up protests in countries as far away as Australia and New Zealand. So far, around 30 hacking groups have declared their involvement in the conflict, and the majority are supporting Palestine. These groups are not only targeting Israeli websites and applications, but also Hamas and Palestinian institutions. While these attacks have not caused significant damage yet, there's a real risk of escalation and direct cyber exchanges between the two sides. And let's not forget, Iran, notorious for its cyber attacks against Israel, might also join the fray. The battlefield has indeed shifted, and the cyber front is becoming increasingly significant. This concludes our quick tour of the latest cyber news. In this digital age, cybersecurity isn't just important, it's essential. As we've seen, threats are everywhere and they're evolving. It's a challenging field, but also rewarding. We need more cybersecurity professionals to protect us. Please consider a career in cybersecurity. Take a look at the links in the description to learn more. Until next time, stay safe in the digital realm.